This is Miss Robinson's history class. The students seem very well behaved, and they are, when she's in the room. The students are all sitting at their assigned tables quietly, doing their work, when suddenly, maybe that second cup of coffee wasn't a good idea after all. What will she do? I'll just run to the ladies' room. It shouldn't take but just a minute, and they are such good children, surely nothing will happen in the few minutes that I'm away. Now children, I have to step out of the room for just a minute. Continue to quietly do your work. Yes, Miss Robinson, the children answer. Miss Robinson knows that the children are behaving themselves because she told them to. But one last check shouldn't hurt. Oh no, Billy has fallen off the chair during the ruckus and has broken his arm. How could this tragedy have been avoided? Let's take a look at how this should have been handled. Now children, I have to step out of the room for just a minute. Continue to quietly do your work. Yes, Miss Robinson, the children answer. Miss Robinson is asking another teacher to watch her class while she visits the ladies' room. There, that's better. When we follow the rules, everything's swell. Let's take a look at another example break time. One of the best times of day for both students and teachers alike. But if the teachers aren't vigilant, then there's no telling what kind of mischief these rascals can get into. Take Ralph and Willie here for example. Hey Willie, I swiped a couple of my old man's cigarettes. Why don't we sneak out of here and light them up? Gee whiz Ralph, what if we get caught? No need to worry about that Willie. The teachers on duty always stand around in one spot and talk the entire time. They'll never even know we're gone. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. How could this have been avoided? Let's take a look. Hey Willie, I swiped a couple of my old man's cigarettes. Why don't we sneak out of here and light them up? Gee whiz Ralph, I don't know. The teachers on duty are always walking around watching us like hawks. You're right Willie, they'll probably catch us before we could even say emphysema. I don't know what I was thinking. Why don't we study our vocabulary instead? That sounds swell, let's do that. Let's take a look at one more example. This is Coach Nunley's sixth grade science class. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Hmm, there must be an emergency because the teacher is texting during class. Wait a minute. Dinner and movie times are not emergencies. What's this all about? Who 
Whose phone is that? The teacher demands. The teacher tells Linda that her parents or guardian will have to come to the school to pick up her phone. This type of behavior hardly seems fair, and you can bet the parents and the principal won't think it's fair either. But what could the teacher have done to avoid this? The answer is easy. She could have stayed off her phone. Now we all have emergencies from time to time, and that's understandable. But teachers should never be on their phones unless it is an emergency. If we stick to the rules, everything will be swell.